Motivation to lose weight. When it comes to weight loss and getting in shape, motivation is key. It can be difficult to stay motivated when you're trying to lose weight, especially if you're not seeing results as quickly as you'd like. But trust us, it's worth it, and here are a few tips to help you stay motivated on your journey. 1. Set realistic goals. If your goal is to lose 100 pounds in a month, chances are you're going to be disappointed and unmotivated when that doesn't happen. Instead, focus on setting smaller, more achievable goals, like losing 5 pounds in a month or 10 pounds in 2 months. Not only will this help keep you motivated, but it will also help you see progress along the way. 2. Find a workout buddy. Having someone to work out with can make all the difference when it comes to motivation. Not only will they hold you accountable, but they can also provide encouragement and support when you need it most. 3. Make it fun. Working out doesn't have to be a chore. Find ways to make it fun and you'll be more likely to stick with it. If traditional workouts don't interest you, try something new like dance class or kickboxing. Or go for a run outside instead of on the treadmill, exploring new scenery can make working out feel. How to get started with weight loss. If you're looking to lose weight and get in shape, there are a few things you need to do in order to get started. First, you need to figure out how many calories you should be eating each day. You can do this by using a calorie calculator or by talking to a dietitian. Once you know how many calories you should be eating, you need to create a food plan that includes healthy foods that will help you reach your calorie goal. Next, you need to start exercising. If you're new to exercise, start with walking or light cardio. You can also try some at-home workouts. Once you've built up your fitness level, you can start doing more challenging exercises like running or strength training. Finally, make sure to stay motivated throughout your journey. Weight loss and getting in shape can be difficult, but it's important to remember why you're doing it. Set small goals and celebrate when you reach them. And don't forget to reward yourself for all of your hard work. What are the best ways to lose weight? There is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as the best ways to lose weight will vary from person to person. However, there are some general tips that can help you get started on your weight loss journey. First and foremost, it's important to make sure that you're eating a healthy diet. This means consuming plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and whole grains. It's also important to cut back on processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats. In addition to eating a healthy diet, it's also important to get regular exercise. This can be anything from going for a daily walk or jog to hitting the gym several times per week. Exercise not only helps you burn calories and lose weight, but it also has numerous other benefits for your overall health. Finally, if you're having trouble losing weight on your own, don't be afraid to seek out professional help. A registered dietitian or certified personal trainer can give you the guidance and support you need to reach your goals. What are the worst ways to lose weight? The worst ways to lose weight. Losing weight is hard, and there's no one-size-fits-all solution. But there are certain ways to lose weight that are more harmful than others. Here are some of the worst ways to lose weight. 1. Fad diets. Fad diets promise quick and easy results, but they're often unhealthy and unsustainable in the long run. Some fad diets can even be dangerous. So if you're looking to lose weight in a healthy way, steer clear of fad diets. 2. Crash dieting. Crash dieting is when you drastically reduce your calorie intake in an attempt to lose weight quickly. This approach is not only unhealthy, but it can also lead to rebound weight gain once you start eating normally again. If you want to lose weight, it's important to do it in a slow and steady way. 3. Skipping meals. Skipping meals may seem like an easy way to cut calories, but it's actually counterproductive when it comes to weight loss. When you skip meals, your metabolism slows down and you end up burning fewer calories overall. Not to mention, skipping meals can make you so hungry that you end up overeating later on. So instead of skipping meals, try eating smaller portions more frequently throughout the day.